Then what do you mean by that? You. And then you meet someone who changes your life. And you feel that you don't even know who you are anymore. Isn't it funny how one little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona, and to rethink your whole identity? <laughs> and as you realize how foolish it all is, <laughs> your laughter reverberates off the walls of the room. Oh. I'm gonna need more specific. How about we try some word associations? That sounds delightful. <laughs> okay. One more. And I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you wanna know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil, predetermined not by some higher power, no, but by the rules of human nature. Tonight has all changed. What changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been building towards this one moment? Is that how you feel? Days, the brutalities. It was all the hand of fate. So now you see fate differently. <laughs> Absolutely. And now I understand there are no chance encounters. It's all meant to be. Everything leading up to who I've met tonight. So you've met someone special? Yes. Yeah. And you might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. I mean, do you realize what a vile world we live in? How lonely it is to wade through all that wretched filth on your own? And um, how does that make you feel? Feel adrift, floating, like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you understand? You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling, and I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask? Who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh, my name's Halleen. Halleen Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Honey? Oh, uh, I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harley, you got one now.
I'd recommend testing it here in the lab before you go, but I'm sure you won't listen to me. You never do. So I take it you won't be testing it then? It's called field testing, Alfred. steam from these pipes so I can advance. Men. The same one I saw at the riot in the precinct's holding cells earlier. I should scan his corpse. The victim was dosed with a chemical that caused temporary deformation of his physiology. I'll need to check the autopsy report to find out more. That computer should contain the autopsy report I'm looking for. Interesting. The victim was using a powerful compound with many similarities to the street drug Venom at the time of his death. 
It changes the user's muscle and bone structure, greatly enhancing strength for a temporary period. It appears that whatever this compound is, it reduces mental capacity in several ways, including severe damage to the brain's memory center. Prolonged use could seriously compromise the user's memory. There's Bane's tracker. All available units, we've received reports of shots fired inside the Coventry district. Witnesses describe two armed groups fighting over what appear to be chemical weapons. Requesting any available officers locate and secure the scene. Chemical weapons. I should investigate. I should hurry to Bane's location before I lose the signal again. I cannot say. You on the list? I am third in line. Good luck to you, mi hermano. Hopefully the formula will be perfected by the time it comes to you. My life is pains to command. It will be an honor to lay it down for his cause. And I pray you do not freeze before you get your chance. <laughs> Damn this. It's up! Oh.
I'm in trouble here! somewhere, which means Bane is likely in here as well. Impressive work. Some of this research is dedicated to Project TN1. Looks like Bane's experimenting with a new form of venom. Whatever it is, it must be what caused the physiological changes I saw in the corpse back at the GCPD. Alfred, Bane knows who I am. I need to get back to the Batcave, and quickly. Joker's behind bars, and he's putting those people in danger to get to me. Delta 65 to dispatch. Who's the OIC in Pioneer? Captain James Gordon is the officer in charge. A lot of lives could be at risk at the bridge. If I can hack Firefly's communication channel, I can learn more. And if the cops try anything stupid, kill a few hostages. Sure thing. And, uh, how long before we set the timers on the bombs? Not until the bat shows. We'll wait all night if we have to. There's 50 million dollars riding on this. 
Alfred, Firefly has hostages on the Pioneer Bridge. I need to deal with him before coming back. Uh, can't you just let the police... I can't... Okay, guy, here a little glitch. I got stuck in the vent. There's nothing I could do, and I eventually had to restart. Just wanted you guys to see it. That's one of the many glitch that happened to me while playing this game. I hope you guys are still enjoying the run as usual. Have fun. Peace out. This is a hostage situation, people. Get into position and prepare to breach on my order. Do not provoke or engage the suspect. He's got hostages in the bridge sublevel. Just get yourselves into position. Why don't you draw Firefly away from the bridge so I can approach? sends his men into a trap. Dispatch, this is Marine 4. Where's the tactical command post? We're supposed to report the cord. Don't send. 